for a treat. Since day one of our show, she's been one of our favorite guests uh, and known for her award winning pizza, but her newest restaurant is not a pizzeria. Last uh, fall, my buddy Ann Kim transformed her, uh, transformed rather her uptown eatery in Minneapolis from Suki and Mimi's to Kim's. It's a you're going to find out it's a very personal project. The Korean American menu reflects her heritage and food from her childhood. Give it up to the food Oscar winning and Kim, everybody. That's right. James Beard Award winner. And I like to brag on my friend. You also know her from you're a Netflix star now, too. You're a net. Yes, you are. Embrace it, friend. OK, I'm a star. You're net. <laughs> you're Netflix famous. No, is that? Oh, but let me let me start there. Let me ask you, because I watch that um, full swing show, the golf show. That's a docu-series oh, yes. on Netflix. I've seen it. Yeah. I've seen it. And now the golfers are famous, not just because they play golf, but they're Netflix famous. Do you get people that come up to you, not because they've eaten your pizza, but because they've seen you on Netflix? Yeah, a little bit of both. Like I was uh, on a flight to Mexico and I had someone come up and tap me on the shoulder and said, I love your pizza. And it's like, it. That is what makes me the most happiest when they come and eat the food and they really love what we're doing. I mean, celebrity. Yeah, but don't touch her. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, be careful. Uh, uh, don't touch her. Yeah. Celebrity is fleeting, you know. Yes, but it everybody's got to yes. eat. Yes. Yeah. Um, before we start cooking, my friend, uh, I know this. Uh, this particular restaurant, and when you and when you. Come to visit us in the Twin Cities. I always tell you where to go. Go, go to any Ann Kim restaurant, uh, oh. any of them. You, you won't, uh, you won't be sorry. But tell the folks why this particular project is very personal to you. Um. Well, this restaurant is outside of my wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. Most people know me for pizza. Yeah. Um, but this particular restaurant, I feel, is the restaurant that I was meant to open. Mm -hmm. But I was too I afraid too. to do it. So those of you that may or may not know, I'm a Korean immigrant and came to this country when I was five years old. And back in the 70s, Korean food was just not something that people knew of in the community. And even now, I think a lot of people are unfamiliar with it. But back then, it was the, this kind of food brought me a lot of shame. And now, many years later, I'm producing food that is now a source of great pride. And I want to represent what this food not only means to me, but I want people here to understand what Korean food can be. But not just Korean food. Yeah. This is Korean American food yeah. because I'm Korean by birth, but I'm also American by growing up here. So I embrace both those sides and I'm really excited for people to come and try it. And you just saw the video you saw was the grand opening. It's a beaut. All of Anne's restaurants are beautiful. I'm going to stop bragging on you for just a minute. So Aww. what are we making, my friend? So we're making something here that maybe a lot of people may or may not be familiar with, and it's Korean barbecue. Ooh, <laughs> yes. And uh, this is a little different from traditional American barbecue in that uh, it is. Ooh, oh. listen to that. That grill's working, Ann. Yes. So this particular cut is called LA Carby style. And so it's believed that a Korean immigrants that moved to the United States developed this cut. It's a short beef short rib, but it's cut flanken style, so it's nice and thin, and so it cooks really quickly. Can you smell that, audience? I can smell, so, yeah. Uh, it smells so good. So it's marinated in a soy, ginger, Korean pear marinade, a little sweet, a little savory. Yeah, I know you're all hungry. And we sear it and grill it until it gets nice and caramelized. And then we're going to put it on a sizzle plate. Normally at the restaurant, this sizzle plate would be steaming hot. hot. And then we'll thus put the name of the sizzle plate. Yes. Anne. that's right, sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and we'll put some a bed of onions underneath. And then we'll also put some uh, sh uh, charred shishito peppers, which are most I love those. yes, they're mostly not hot, but mm -mm. one out of ten gets a little bit hot. So you know you're playing Did, a little Russian roulette. How much because this is out of your and nothing. I mean you're so good, nothing's out of your comfort zone. But how much fun was it putting this menu together? You know it was a ton of fun, yeah. and I feel like 
this particular menu came to me so much easier than anything else. Really? Yeah. yeah. Because it's the food that I know. Mm. And, you know, I experimented and dabbled a little bit about with Korean food when I opened Pizzeria Lola. I decided I'm going to see what Korean barbecue tastes like on a pizza or what kimchi tastes like on a pizza. And so that was just sort of a gateway to introduce the good people of Minnesota to what Korean food could be because what's safer than pizza, right? I Everybody mean, loves pizza. It's a good gateway yes. to different cuisine. It yes. is, you're right. That's why she's on Netflix, everybody. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. What, what, why can I not think of the, the series that you were, um, Chef's Table. Chef's Table. Yes. Chef's Table. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. So at the restaurant, we actually use a char grill. So you'll get it's smoky and nice and grilled, but because you didn't get me a char broiler. I'm sorry. Or... That's that's coming. That's coming with our new set in season <laughs> 10. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, so it's going to get nice and seared. I'm going to actually throw the onions on here, too. OK and get those going. Oh. I'm going to stick some of the shishito peppers on here. I, oh. I'm looking at, I, uh, I just, I'm so hungry. Row one, I know, I've said this, there was a couple days ago, and I've never felt like the audience was going to throttle me, but I do think <laughs> they may charge us at some point. Uh, yeah. Yeah, hold, yeah. stay back, stay we're back. Gonna, we're going to finish this up on the other side of the break, back after this, more All with right. Ann Kim. My goodness. That smells so good. Back in the kitchen. With James Bid, award winning chef and Netflix superstar, Ann Kim. Okay, we're done. Ann and I were just marveling of how good this is turning out. Uh, you know, TV kitchens are not what people are used to with the what chefs are used to this is coming up pretty good Ann. yeah if this uh if this uh product wants to sponsor me i'm available <laughs> <laughs> hey and so are we people yes yeah, yes yeah. anyway okay now why do you now you're scared me okay. now why do you have a, a bb came over to give notes and you you held up the scissors I'm now, what are you doing i'm not gonna give you a haircut but i just wanted to show you how traditional korean barbecue is normally sliced and I don't know why the rest of the world has not caught on, but we use scissors to slice our meat. And it's so efficient, and the Koreans know what's going on. You don't have to dirty up a plate or anything. So we use these scissors. Those so are I giant just, scissors, Ann. Yeah, yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> and then look at how beautiful this is. And imagine if we were in the restaurant, this cast iron would be sizzling. Sizzle plate. And then we would place these beautiful short ribs oh. on to our plate like so. And then it's going to be taken to your dining room. Uh, and this is an app? This is no, used to be a meal. No, this is not an app. Oh, this okay. is a meal. Okay, I was—I yeah. didn't know. I'd <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It could, you know, choose your How own How dare menu. I? It no, could, I didn't know, Ann. I it could know. be an app. It, it could, could be, be an yeah. app for that, those of you with hearty appetites. Yeah, that's yes. a meal right there. Yes, for okay. husky people. Yeah. Uh, we have, we have, uh, did you, nobody uses husky, <laughs> that, that's a term, that's a term from our childhood, the Sears I husky know. section. I I was a chubby kid and I Me had to too. wear husky. Ann and I are, are basically the same age. Remember the Sears husky oh, section? Yes, yes. yes. You there. were so embarrassed to walk over there. Husky pants, yes. Speaking, look at this, Leo, oh, can we yeah. get a shot? Now look at little, look, look at Ann as yes. a child there, look at, look at that. Look at as a child and look at Ann now. Yeah. Hey, and now this is how it started, and this is how it is now. Yeah, there we go. What's uh, mm. Mm. what's this, my friend? All right, so <laughs> I'm really sorry. I couldn't resist. So not only do we have a lovely Korean barbecue section, but we have these really traditional dishes that I want to talk about. Okay. The hey, can I while you do that? Can I eat one of these? Yeah, of course. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah. hot. I don't care. So first dish here I brought because it's near and dear to my heart. It's called bindetok. And this is a dish that it's my mother's recipe. It's a traditional North Korean dish. My mother was born in North Korea. And it's the first dish that I actually brought to a potluck when I was growing up. And 
everyone loved it and devoured it. There's mung beans, there's fermented kimchi that we make in house and it's gluten free. And then we also have a shrimp and vegetable pancake here, oh. which is also delicious. And then this is the Sam accompaniment that goes with our barbecue. So in Korea, you would traditionally put a little bit of samjang a little bit of that on here, a little bit of the uh, scallion herb salad and a little bit of meat and wrap it up and eat it like a Korean taco. Um, so this is also part of the barbecue. And over here is on every Korean table, so anywhere from like three to a hundred different things called banchan, which are side dishes, different marinated vegetables, fermented kimchi. Here I have a dongchimi, which is a white radish kimchi and a traditional napa kimchi, and always a side of rice. Yeah. Um, because in Korea, when someone asks you how you're doing, they ask you pop mugunna, which means have you eaten rice, which means have you had food, which is a term of endearment. And so uh -huh. there's always rice on the table. I know. I love right? that. But, 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 that's why you and I had to go to the husky <laughs> section. I mean, that's why we had to go to the Sears, because we were eating so much of that. I had two or three bowls of rice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's go through everything, because again, when, when you all watching in Orlando and Chicago, when you guys come to see us, let me see if I can list all your restaurants. You ready? Okay, go. Okay, Pizzeria Lola, my favorite, Young Joni. Hello, pizza. Uh, Kim's. Yep. And then, are you still doing by the yes, Vikings? Yes, I um, uh, consulted on the menu at Kindred Hearth at the Omni Hotel, should you want to stay at a hotel nearby. Vikings headquarters right over there. Oh, and I do want to mention, yeah, mention that what? this past weekend, we opened for lunch on weekends at Kim's. So you can come visit us during the lunch hour or Love dinner. Yeah. And then you can watch her episode of Chef's Table, right? Chef's, yes, Table. Chef's, Chef's Table. Table on Netflix. Give it up for Ann Kim, everybody. We're going to take a break. A funny list when we return. Back in a moment. Stay with us. Thank you. Thank you love. I love coming on your show. I love having you, love. We have a good time, though.